I missed um, whatever excitement or whatever happened this morning and actually just um, appeared from my own cabin probably about 4.30, something like that. And that was saying is, you know, doing my own energy work and, and uh, just being here has allowed um, a lot of um, breathing room, a lot of pure oxygen, so to speak, so that could be And uh, so I can share kind of some of the insights of um, what I do and, and uh, my path. Um, <clears throat> some of you know I'm in the Hawaii Senate, and I've been um, inside of rooms where uh, decisions are made, uh, both uh, in politics and um, and there. And, and I work with activists, so I know what the impacts of our decisions are. And I'm familiar with uh, kind of mindset and decision making um, that many of these good people make. There is a category of decisions I would call judgmentally, but it's just for category's sake, um, abuses of power um, by people who use political power as well as uh, economic power as well as those institutions and churches, nonprofits, and families that have power. And uh, some of those uses of power would be in the category, judgmental, but just the category, uh, what I would call abuses of power. Uh, and um, many of those uses of power um, cause damage. and. Um, damage the well-being of people, damage the not only emotional well-being, social well-being, economic well-being. And um, uh, I've been doing this for a few decades. And um, when, I've, when I started out 35 years ago, I you know, thought I would experiment what I can do to kind of some kind of difference. And what I've come up with so far is that um, um, uh, I'm, I'm like, I could construe myself as an energy system that breathes in the, um, the low frequency energies, the hurt, the pain, the fear, the hate, and breathe it in and then breathe out high frequency energies, love, compassion, forgiveness, and so forth. So I've, I've experimented in being an energy system. I can breathe in those, and, and as an energy system, I can then uh, elevate the energy to its highest frequency and breathe it out in, in the arenas that I'm at in. And what I found is that when I'm able to do that, uh, truth telling can heal. And so I'm, I'm a truth teller in my arena with as much compassion as I can muster up. And um, I found that useful. And as there's more truth telling to be told, um, uh, I think there's some less healing, cap healing that may be occurring, even amongst those, those who make decisions based on fear, much of the time I found many times hurt, revenge, and so forth, and other types of uh, energies, um, they're in as much pain. Uh, they're in tremendous pain. And um, so I think we can contribute by um, having compassion for their pain um, and allow them to free themselves up from that pain so that they can be whole. Uh, as you, <coughs> both economic leaders and 
but, but politicians are really good at compartmentalizing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you don't feel the pain. You can lock it off, and then you are left with just particular awareness so that you can do your job. And uh, I think as truth telling occurs, people become more whole. And that's why I like the open space. It allows us to be whole. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and uh, part of the gift that you're giving me is opportunity to kind of share um, um, what I am experimenting in. And I'm looking for partners in this endeavor. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow.